Well, tackle shop in Kalila in Spain where I am. Absolutely full of laws. Full of laws. Just been in here and got some ragworm. Well, they're maddies. For tomorrow, I got some lovely rods. Little bass rods and things. I think this is the owner stuff, but some funny looking multicolored reels. Some huge reels. Huge multipliers. This is a lovely looking little rod. Whatever it works for, I'll never know. And real seats. Some sort of jigging rod. But oh, it's amazing. Yes. Um, I'm massively out of my comfort zone, yeah? Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd show you around a tackle shop in Spain. Um, oh, I'll, I'll, um, I'll keep you on until I get downstairs and that bit. Look at these tuna rods, look. Look at the work in them eyes, look. Madness. No, es que es que repasan más más grietas ¿sí? que tenía, porque hay, hay otros sitios que está más. Yo creo que sí. Different types of leads. Funny es que looking. En, en, en... Funny looking leads, some of them. En, estaba. En... Digo que 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 había más grietas abiertas. Yeah, Alright, yeah, I'll bring you back when we get some fishing done. I forgot to say, my mode of transport. Because <laughs> um, I'm about six miles away from the tackle shop where I'm staying. I um, I thought it was closer, but it it's not. So, 14 euros for a bike for half a day. I bought myself a, a man bag to wear on the bike. And um, look, look at these ragworm coming, look. A lot of these people probably already know, but look, that's madness. I'll um, I'll bring it back when I go back to my hotel, and I'll um, I'll show you them. I'll show you also about oh, I need a couple of leads, but I'll just show you through the tackle that I bought with me in a bit. Oh, morning, all. It's um, that's five o'clock here in um, Calella in Spain, and I'm off to do some fishing finally. Um, water's completely flat calm. There's a, it looks like a sort of fishing boat out there, like a game fishing boat. And it also looks to be like a little open boat with a few fellas on it motoring up. Whether they've got nets out or not, I'm not sure. Anyway, <coughs> my hotel's a bit further that way. I know, half a mile, mile that way, up the beach. But um, I've come down here because there's some rocks just on this corner. It starts going around to sort of but up there is a road above that big white, but big white sign, um, and that takes you around towards um, Barcelona. But I come down here because the rest of the beach is all pretty flat. I mean, it looks d deepish, I suppose, but I just thought rocks is where I want to be, deep water. You never know. I'll get out that little bit further. So I've only got a little 11 foot travel rod with me, which is in there. Not borrowed off my mate. And there's my tackle box for the day, a nice carrier bag. Um, I went into the tackle shop last night, I've done a bit of filming in there. The fella looked at me very strange, he couldn't really speak any English. Um, I was trying to ask him what I needed to use on the beach, um, and everything I picked up in the shop, he said yes, 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 yes. Um, so I think he just wanted me to buy everything, to be fair. So I stuck with some ragworm that I bought off him, that he, that he called a funny name. Um, and I've got a couple of uh, I've got a couple of three hook clip down rigs, and I've also got a a two hook flap up. But it's a continental style, really long snoods, light lines with um, with pop ups on them, um, and I should give that a go. That's what I'm probably going to start with. But also, I've got a massive selection of feathers um, and ock eyes and things like that, and also I've got some I've got a Dexter wedge. So what I'll do is I'll wait for the sun to come up, 
till it's right up um, and then probably give that a go but for now I'll just fish with a bit of bait oh these were the rocks but as you can see the sun's coming up in the distance and it looks absolutely stunning um, so for the I've been looking at sort of info about where I'm fishing as much as I possibly can online a lot of it's in Spanish but it wasn't really much on YouTube either um, and this is part of the Mediterranean or the uh, Balearic Sea um, and I don't think there's tides well, there is, there is, it does have tides but it only it only rises and drops by a, a couple of centimetres if that so I'm hoping there's not going to be too much tide run if you like um, but we'll see well, well it don't look like I'm fishing off any rocks it looks like I'm fishing off this bit of beach because there's no rocks to really stand on. Oh well, this will do. Me and my little corner. Right. Well, I'll, uh, I'm going to get set up. I'll wait till it's a bit lighter. And then I'll, uh, I'll bring it back and show you the rig, show you what I'm using. Show you this funny old ragworm. In a bit. Right, yeah, this is these... Uh, these ragworm. Little, they're like maddies really. They're quite small, but they they go nuts. They go absolutely nuts. See if I can. It's just been going mad. Yeah, look. Oh. Crazy things. You don't really get many in a pot. I um, these were three and a half euros. And I, I think there's probably 10 in there if I'm lucky. So I've, I bought two pots. Um, I'm just having to break them in half a bit, really, because I do want to have a couple of hours while I'm here. And this red stuff is. It's just like tissue, I think. Just soaked in water. Yeah, it's just like tissue. But yeah, anyway, there's my little setup. 11 foot spinning rod with a, a little spinning reel on it, a, bit, oh, a bigger size spinning reel. Um, I was going to use the, the true continental style rig with the pop-ups on it, but I got it out of the pack and that's what happened. So we've just gone with a three-hook clip down and I'm going to sit in there and just um, and try and pick this one apart because I do like the idea of the pop-ups. Um, fish I'm hoping to catch could be bream I think is what I'm after really because I know what it is um, and when I was looking at doing a bit of research there was a fella that said on a forum that I found on Google um, that he'd had them off this beach to six pound on these ragworms so we'll we'll see <laughs> we will see yeah anyway I'll bring you back if we, uh, if we get some fish Still no fish. Um, <laughs> this whole beach goes up there for absolute miles, and the sun's just come up over the top of the hotels, and that looks absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this whole beach, the whole beach, no one else is fishing. There's there's pe a few people sitting on it. I mean, it's now up past six in the morning here, and I'm I'm here fishing on my lonesome, and right there, two people have to come swimming. <laughs> right, right where I am. And, and to be fair, where I've walked to, to the beach, there's actually nothing behind it. So these people to come here, to come here swimming, would have had to walk a long, a long, 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 long way along the beach to get to here to go swimming. Unbelievable. But um, as long as they stay over there, they should be all right. It cracks me up though. Um, yeah, so still no fish. I ended up putting that, um, putting that tangled rig on, give it a go. Um, but nothing as of yet, but I should probably put the fruit one back on in a minute. Get a, I need to use some of this bait up. I'm not here all day. Once that sun comes up, I want to be by the pool. Does look lovely though. It does look lovely. Well, I'll bring you back if we get some fish. Right, so the wind is really, really bad. It's uh, second to last night here on holiday. 
Well, I've had one little fish, but I've had a little mate standing with me all day and it's been a bit hard, well, for the last hour or so. It's been hard to record. The wind is absolutely unreal. Um, there's a few up behind there, it looks quite nice. And then up here, obviously, is my little rod that I bought, and his one that he let me borrow. We have got a massive, massive thunderstorm going on out to sea. The wind is savage. Um, I've had to take me out off because it's trying to blow, it's blowing me out off. Um, you can probably hear really bad wind. I'm really sorry about that, but there's not a lot I can do. I will, um, I will obviously chuck the picture of the little, it's a little tiny fish. It's like a weaver. It stung me in the finger and it bloody hurt for a good couple of minutes. So I'm assuming it's some sort of weaver, but I'm still alive. My finger's still on my hand. It's not falling off. Um, if I get any other fish, I will bring you back. Um, sorry I didn't end the video from the day during the day fishing the other day, but. Yeah, it wasn't brilliant. Um, so yeah, this could could well end up being the last bit of the video. Um, so thanks for watching. Sorry there weren't many fish. Back to England next week, um, and I think I'll be going to Brighton and having a go for some bream and then some undulates in the evening on the beach. So uh, cheers for watching all. Laters.